<laughs> ODU Nation. Uh, I'm Rich Radford. That's Bobby Wilder, and it's uh, breakfast with Bobby time. And Bobby, I gotta say, Colby Goodwin. Mm -hmm. He went from doghouse to penthouse. <laughs> he did. Colby uh, bounced back after that fumble, which uh, at the point in the game it happened, we're up 13 to three. He scores, we go up 20 to three, and we're probably looking at a blowout. Instead, they pick it up, and go the other way, and he was. He was crushed on the sideline. You know, we had to pick him back up. And, and our philosophy as a program is you play the next play. You, know, you learn from the last one, play the next play. There's, there's 200 plays on average in a game. You've got to keep playing. And he did. He ended up with 24 carries, 144 yards, and a touchdown. 184. 184, yeah. Thank you. That's 184. A big and uh, a 38 yard kickoff return. And Bobby, we have breaking news. Dun, right. dun, dun. <laughs> the breaking news is Colby Goodwin. The CAA Offensive Player of the Week this week is Colby Goodwin. How about and that? And that's an ODU first. That's an ODU first. We've had the Special Teams Player of the Week, uh, or the Rookie of the Week, last week in Antonio Vaughn. Now we've got the Offensive Player of the Week. How about that? So you go down to Atlanta and you put a 40-17 to hurting mm -hmm. on Georgia State. Mm -hmm. And it's your seventh consecutive win, which... Wow. Going back to last season, that's you were, seven happy breakfast with Bobby's. That's seven happy breakfast with Bobby's, <laughs> and it also is second in the nation behind the University of Pennsylvania for longest win streak in the mm -hmm. FCS. You're sitting pretty catbird right now. How how how's it feel right now with the run that you're on? Oh, it feels great when you when you're winning football games, which is the goal every Saturday. When you take the field, you want to win the game. That's the goal, and. And to have that, to have that feeling, to know we played 24 games as a program and we're, we're 19 and five right now, that means we're, we're making progress, we're getting better, uh, but the challenges are gonna get more intense here coming up starting this week with Hampton. Hampton's a much better football team this year than they were last year. And the biggest difference with this team is, is the quarterback. Oh, I, I think this will be uh, the best looking quarterback physically and the best throwing quarterback our fans have seen uh, in a home game since we've been playing. He's a, he's a very good player. So, Saturday, Hampton University, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, a night game. You mm -hmm. love night games. Love the night games. Good for the Monarchs to tailgate. <laughs> and it'll be going on at 6 o'clock at Foreman Field Saturday night when the ODU Monarchs take on Hampton University in a, well, they already called the Battle of the Bay when they play Norfolk State, but yeah, it's kind of... what's this the Battle of? This uh, is the Battle of the Blue. The Battle of the Blue, there you go. All right, we'll see you later. See you, 12th Monarchs. You're awesome. Thanks to all the 12th Monarchs who came to the Georgia Dome. Unbelievable effort.